Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have an amazing base design for you today. It features a strong compound and a mini china wall, a bunkered and fully honeycomb starter base, and a huge open core with four unsplashable multi TC roof bunkers. The footprint is a simple 3x3, which gets expanded by four multi TCs. The base is easy to build and well defendable in every stage of the wipe, which is also perfect for snowballing. Before we start with the tour, I'll give you some facts about the base. I'd suggest playing this base as a duo, trio or as a small group up to 6 players. All the bunkers are also working on console rust. And before we get to the upkeep, I just wanted to let you know that community servers are also available on Console Rust now. Which is a great opportunity for all the console players. By getting your own customizable server, you have the ability to play the game in your own way with your own rules. And you can even make every kind of different event, like exciting PvP events or cozy PvE servers. Don't miss out on this great experience and get your own server today. But now let's talk about the upkeep, which is super cheap for this kind of base. It only takes 12k metal, 13k stone and 180 HQ. If you like my content, I would be happy if you could like my video and subscribe to my channel. Alright, let's get into the base tour. This base got disconnectable bunker TCs. You open them by placing a roof right here. There is space for a TC and a battery, or some stash loot. The TC needs 1.6k metal if it's completely upgraded. If your main TC got raided and you have to disconnect the TC, you have to build these triangles and place a roof on top. Now it's disconnected. Don't forget to reconnect it again by rebuilding the triangle frames. Entering the compound airlock, we have some peaks against door campers on the left and right. Going into the actual compound, we have compound roof peaks covered by turrets on the left and right. This can be pretty useful in raids. The turrets are placed above the entrance to make them harder to destroy. The compound got extra protection by large furnaces. Raiders have to destroy them to breach a compound. This can slow down an online raid and needs 5 extra rockets if they want to destroy it fast. That's a cheap way to increase raid cost and make your compound more safe. We have additional outside roof peaks on each side to keep an eye on our surroundings. The whole compound is separated by chain links to take mobility from raiders and grubs. We also have compound bedrooms with integrated compound peaks for fast respawn and defense. You can easily fit two beds and lockers in here. Stepping inside the mini china wall, we have these roof peaks on each side. They give you great angles all around the compound. You can aim at your entrance from this roof peak, perfect to stop door raids. You can also fit an oil refinery inside here. We enter the main base from second floor, through an airlock that's especially useful in early wipe stages. We have four square loot rooms for all your basic loot up here. Going down here we enter the starter core, which is protected by a simple roof bunker. We got three loot rooms with extra honeycomb, that's a total of three walls to raid. To open the bunker, you have to destroy this wood foundation. It doesn't take long at all, but you can shoot it as well if you are impatient. To see the bunker, just replace the foundation and the roof on top. Upgrade the roof to metal or HQ and the foundation to wood. There are two jump ups leading into the open core for better mobility. There are four large loot rooms and some extra spots for boxes and electric furnaces below and above. 
but also space for batteries and a workbench. Everything is covered by ramp turrets. The open court got four unsplashable roof bunkers for offline protection. They are all separated, that's increasing the rate cost a lot. There is a lot of space inside. Each bunker got space for a battery and four large boxes or everything else you want to keep safe. Jumping up here, we got extra space for beds and lockers on both sides. The open core is also fully honeycombed. Behind this door, we have a little early shooting floor. There are perfect gaps to aim down into your compound and great wide angles all around. You get even better angles by using this roof. Going up here we have the shooting floor. There are nice peaks all around. We got tons of wide angles from here, but also some nice peaks to aim below into your compound. Here we have the open core ramp peaks and a little bedroom area. The ramps give you a perfect view inside your open core to get rid of raiders. Jumping up here, we have roof retake peaks in case of top down raids. Going through this airlock, we enter the roof. The roof design is pretty simple, but you could add vending machine bunkers if you like. There is space for windmills and sand sides. The roof gives you great angles all around your base. Now we start with a building tutorial. Let's start with the starter base. Next we build the honeycomb around the starter base. Now we're building the second floor. Temporarily you can use a box or a furnace as a jump up.
Next we build the multi TC. Go up with four squares and then with a triangle. Go back with triangles. Go three squares now and end with a triangle. Go back with triangles. Now we're building the external TCs. Build a square and six triangles. Add a triangle on the left and right, so it's easier. Now you go to the right side and build a freehand foundation. You must crouch for it to work. If the wall has 78 or 79% stability and the gap isn't too big, you can upgrade the wall. Destroy the wooden triangles. Now you replace the square with the triangle. Now we are building the freehand part. Build a triangle foundation on the left side and attach a square to it. Then you build two lower walls on the right side. Take a weapon or your crosshair and aim roughly at this point. Destroy the lower wall but don't move your mouse. Take a tiny step back and then build a square foundation. Go back with one square and two triangles. Upgrade both triangles. You need to place two frames here. Now we're building the mini china wall.
Next we will build the compound. Build the furnaces so high that you can't jump over them. Now we build the open core. Thank <laughs> you. 
Next, we will build the early shooting floor. Next we will build the shooting floor. Now we build the roof. Now I will show you turret and whip my placement. <laughs> 